use third-party codes to enhance your apps? What if there was a way to increase privacy and security for apps, SDKs, and users benefiting the entire Android ecosystem? Hi, I'm Zoe, and I'm a developer relations engineer on the Privacy Sandbox team. In this video, you'll learn about the SDK Runtime, a technology designed to safeguard user data through third-party code isolation. But as an SDK, app, or game developer, why is this something you should prioritize? Safeguarding user data can help you meet user expectations, protect your business, and improve the overall app experience. People now expect their privacy to be protected. We are increasingly aware of how our data is collected and used, and understand the importance of safeguarding our personal information. A 2023 study found that 70% of global respondents had already taken some action to protect their privacy online, and 83% wanted to do more about it. The growing demand for online privacy is becoming more widespread throughout the tech world and academia. In 2024, a study analyzing over 150 Android SDKs highlighted that the industry has an opportunity to be more privacy forward. For example, 30% of the examined SDKs did not disclose a privacy policy. The study also revealed numerous instances of data exfiltration. This was only possible because the apps and SDKs were sharing resources. The shared execution environment between apps or games and SDKs can create challenges for everyone involved. Apps and games might need to invest some of their resources in validating privacy policies, while SDKs face risks to their business and reputation due to a potential of fraud. Research shows that a significant amount of global ad traffic is fraudulent, resulting in financial losses for the industry. In addition to privacy concerns, there are challenges related to app stability and crash accountability. Bugs or crashes within a third-party SDK can negatively impact apps or games, leading to user frustration and lower rating on app stores. A non-trivial amount of crashes and application not responding errors can be traced back to third-party sources, which creates tension between both parts. Apps might be reluctant to update or upgrade SDK versions, which can lead in delays in adopting new features, bug fixes, and fraud detection capabilities offered by the SDK. We have seen that coupling first and third-party code brings challenges, so what can you do to address them? Let me introduce you to the SDK runtime. Android 14 introduces a new architecture that isolates the execution of first and third-party code by running third-party code in a separate process. Think of it as app sandboxing, but applied to the third-party code. Each app has its own SDK runtime process. This isolates the code and resources from each party. To make adoption easier, SDK developers can rely on a translation interface during the migration stages, reducing the initial overhead for apps and games. That being said, apps could consume SDKs in the runtime directly. What's more, if you have an app, you can choose to run parts of your own logic in the SDK runtime, offering new flexibility and security for custom implementations. So how does this help? First, process isolation increases privacy and security, reducing undisclosed access and sharing. Additionally, ad SDKs control their view hierarchy, which can aid in the prevention of ad fraud. Second, by operating with a predefined set of permissions, the SDK runtime limits on-device user tracking by design. This transparency can help app developers account for their data access and sharing practices. The SDK runtime is designed to enhance SDK security by implementing features such as per SDK class loaders and storage. As a result, both apps and SDKs signal a security and privacy-first approach to their users. Finally, SDK becoming separate entities calls for a new distribution mechanism. This allows separating app and SDK health metrics for better accountability and traceability of crashes. Depending on the distribution channel, SDKs can benefit from features such as critical updates over the air, accelerating distribution, and reducing the impact on developers. And with SDKs installed as separate packages on the device, the SDK can cryptographically verify its code, making sure it was not tampered with. In a nutshell, 
If you are an SDK developer, migrating to the SDK runtime will provide you enhanced security, improved privacy for apps and users, and the potential to deliver faster updates. If you're an app developer, the SDK runtime can increase your app stability, enhance your user's privacy, and simplify SDK management. Explore the SDK runtime to see how it can help you support a more private mobile future. To get started, see the Privacy Sandbox developer site. You'll find code samples, the SDK development guide, latest announcements, technical documentation, and channels for feedback. Thanks for watching. We'll be exploring the SDK runtime in detail throughout this video series. Be sure to watch the other episodes to learn more about how to build, consume, and test SDKs in the runtime.